The deductibles in Obamacare are so high that unless you get hit with an army tank, you're not going to be using them. In our 2015 conversation with the candidate, Donald Trump didn't offer specific changes he'd make to the Affordable Care Act, but he did promise a result. You would have great coverage at far less money than you used to pay before Obamacare, because Obamacare is a disaster. Anyone that promises you a solution that is devoid of laws of economics, that is devoid of personal responsibility, it will fail. As the CEO of Bedford Ambulatory Surgical Center, Nick Velas says under the ACA, providers have been yeah, paid less for services while their own costs increase. And in the coming year, he predicts three major changes to the law, starting with the elimination of the individual mandate, a provision he believes has backfired. What we did is we passed a lot of that cost on to the young people who were the healthiest and their, their rates went through the roof. Second, Valus thinks employer-sponsored insurance programs will be history in favor of a tax-deductible combined contribution like a 401k. Your health insurance should be owned by you like your auto collision and every other insurance. You should be buying a plan that fits you and your lifestyle. And you are rewarded for good behavior like you are for being a good driver. Third, Valus predicts the return of risk pools, a strategy mothballed under Obamacare. Those people with pre-existing serious conditions could be placed in a risk pool where, sure, they could pay some of the premium, but they're going to get some relief and support. Uh, no one, not in this country, should lose everything they own because they got sick. Ultimately, it will be up to the Republican majority in Washington to determine changes. And while Valus does have his opinions, he does offer one guarantee. Changes are on the way. They are coming. They have to come. Well, they just, like a lot of Republicans, say that there are some provisions of the ACA worth keeping, such as allowing a young person to stay on their parents' policy until the age of 26 and enhanced coverage for expensive prescription drugs.